This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Welcome everyone. In this video I show you a tiny yet very powerful modification for my triple axis stepper motor controller circuit. I have already shown this circuit before and I explained how I used it to automate my metallurgical microscope. So if you are interested, check the corresponding video. The device is already 100% functional. As you can see it, it has a nice control panel and an enclosure as well. However, there is one little thing that I wanted to add and it was not part of the original design. So I show it now if other people also want to do the same thing. Speaking of the control panel and the enclosure, the rear side of the enclosure has all the necessary connections. A USB connector, so I can control it from the computer. A DSAP connector, which connects the controller to the XY axis motors and the corresponding limit switches. A 5 pin GX16 connector for the joystick a 4-pin GX16 connector for the Z-axis stepper motor and a barrel jack connector for the external power supply. But uh, let's look inside the enclosure so I can show you what I want to change. Before moving on, allow me to quickly show the main components in case you haven't seen the previous video on this project. The brain of the controller is a TNC4 microcontroller. It has a very powerful CPU and it has enough peripherals and GPIO pins to take care of everything. Then the motors are taken care by a TMC429 triple axis motion controller. It can handle three stepper motors and six limit switches simultaneously. And since it does all the computations, it offloads the microcontroller. Then we also have an eight channel GPIO expander. It reads the two three way switches on the front panel. And instead of wasting six GPIO ports, I just used two I squared C pins from the microcontroller. Then there is an onboard voltage regulator. This powers all the components except the microcontroller. Then we also have three TMC2209 stepper motor drivers. They drive the three axes. Then the rest of the components are just a few buttons and switches, an RGB status LED and a display. And they are all embedded in the front panel. So finally all these components are embedded in my custom design PCB, which was actually manufactured by the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. So if you want to get the same PCB or same circuit, go to my PCBWay project page and there you can find all the resources which are necessary to order this PCB and then you can have your own triple axis stepper motor controller circuit. Or if you have your own custom circuit or custom design, head over to PCBWay.com and use their services to produce your products. So this modification will involve the main component of the board which is the TNC4 microcontroller. Let me remove it from the board and let me show you what this is all about. Also, as a side note, let me mention that this mod is not specific to this wall circuit, but it is more specific to the microcontroller. So even if you don't use my circuit, but you work with this microcontroller, stay focused because the tips and tricks will be useful. What I'm trying to achieve here is to add another voltage regulator to the circuit that powers the microcontroller. So instead of relying on a plugged in USB cable when operating the circuit in standalone mode, now everything will be powered from the external power supply that feeds the power into the DC barrel jack. But you might think, why is this guy struggling with another voltage regulator if the board already has a 3.3 volt source? Well, when we go to the official documentation of the TNC board, it says that the board is not meant to be powered by its 3.3 volt pin. It can be done, yes, but it would require an invasive modification and I would rather not do it. However, one can use the V in pin and feed it with 5 volts, which will then go through the onboard voltage regulator on the TNZ and everything will work well. But one thing still must be noted, uh, the boards 5 volt pin is originally powered by the 5 volt which comes from the USB port. That means that in the original condition of the board it is not possible to use the USB and power the board externally at the same time. However, the developer of the board thought about this, very smart. There is a small trace bridge on the bottom of the board that can be cut. And when we cut this trace the 5 volt coming from the USB is not connected to the rest of the circuit anymore and the board can be powered externally by 5 volt. So I did the same operation and after cutting the trace I double checked with the multimeter if the two different 5 volts are separated. 
it seems that the surgery was successful. But to be sure, I must triple check it. It is just too expensive to fry this microcontroller. So I just simply check if the VUSB shows up where it should not show up, or it stays where it should stay. And since everything is fine, now let's focus on the other voltage regulator. I use the exact same regulator that I have already used on the board. It is tiny, cheap and rather powerful, so why not use it? This board also needs a little surgery, because in its original state the output voltage is adjusted via the onboard potentiometer. However, there are solder tabs on the bottom side of the PCB, and bridging one of them will make the board to provide the desired output voltage. But this bridge is currently at the potentiometer, so I have to cut it. And then I can make the bridge with soldering. Once again, I want to be sure that I made the job correctly, so let's feed 12 volts to the voltage regulator, and then let's see the output voltage. And since everything seems to be good, let's proceed. So let's put the microcontroller back to the board. Luckily, I put a pin header along the microcontroller, so all pins are available externally. So this means that I can use the corresponding header pin and I can feed the 5V through this header pin to the microcontroller. And then I will just simply connect the input of the voltage regulator to the DC barrel jack at the rear panel of the enclosure. I will need some cables, so let's prepare them. Since the ground is shared across the wall circuit, I can connect the regulator's ground anywhere. So it will go on one of the already existing pin headers for ground. The 5V, as I said, will go to the pin header next to the microcontroller. So these two connections will have a Dupont connector, and the third connection on the voltage regulator, the V-in pin, will be directly soldered on the DC barrel jack's positive terminal. To make the board a bit more safe, I wrapped it with heat shrink tube, because the board will sit loosely in the enclosure, so this heat shrink tube protects it and the rest of the circuit from accidental shorts and so on. So after wrapping the voltage regulator, I finish up the cables by crimping the connectors and soldering the V in to the DC jack. And again, I'm careful, so I power up the device from a regulated power supply, so no high current could rush through the circuit if something is shorted or something like that. And as you can see, or cannot see, no smoke is emerging, which is a good sign, and all the LEDs are lit up, which is also a good sign. When I check the 5V rail, it shows the correct voltage as well. So let's pack everything up and test the device in a real environment. As you can see, the device boots up as it should, and if I move around the joystick, the stage moves properly and everything works correctly. I also put the USB cable in the picture, just as an indication that the microcontroller is no longer powered by an additional power supply, but now everything is powered through the DC barrel jack by an external power supply. So this is it. Uh, this is now the fully self-sufficient triple axis stepper motor controller device. If you want to build this device, check my PCBWay project page, link is in the description. And if you like these kind of projects, please consider joining my YouTube membership. It allows me to spend more resources on developing similar projects. So I hope that this video was useful, I hope you learned something, and see you in the next video.